Hi everyone, Bernard here and I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to the Citizen Channel. We have another Moments in Time and we're going to go back to the month of April. We're going to go back to the 25th of April, 1992. There you are, 1992, almost 30, well 29 years as I'm recording this but uh, depending when you're watching this, who knows. Uh, yeah, we're going to look at a, a game, not significant in itself, uh, uh, Manchester City 2, Notts County 0, 25th of April 1992. This despair for Notts County, this was. Uh, they've had further despair since then, haven't they? And uh, obviously hope for City as a whole new football world prepares to dawn very very soon, uh, within the next uh, certainly four, three or four months anyway, put it that way. Uh, yeah, the game against Notts County in itself, not go down as one of the best at main role, but it was uh, significant both on and off the pitch. Of course, we'd met uh, the season before and they'd embarrassed us in the FA Cup. We've had a horrible history on that one, haven't we? But uh, please join me today as we look back at the penultimate league game of the 91-92 season and the, the last game of the season, of course, at Main Road. We get our lap of honour. Was it uh, well received, etc.? But uh, please join me as we look back at that uh, 25th of April, 1992. Please, if you're new to the channel, please push that subscribe. I want to do these his city history vlogs and city present, city quizzes, lots of different stuff on city. Push that subscribe on. If you do enjoy what you see, please push that notification as well so you get to know when these things come out. And there's loads of city stuff on there, but you'll also see some film and TV stuff as well. I do have a little film and TV channel, so if you want to have a rest from football and interested in anything to do with film and TV, seek that out and have a look at that. That'll be fantastic. Of course, if you're not interested, don't worry, loads of football stuff. And uh, if you need any friends or followers on Facebook and Twitter, uh, there's some links on screen. So I do check every three, four, five days and follow up and friend everyone back. And I post loads of stuff on there as well to do with football, film and TV as well. So seek that out. And all comments are very welcome on this. Were you there? I was there at this one, obviously. Were you there this day? Any specific memories you've got of the game and the season, perhaps? Inter interesting season, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, things look things looked okay i mean you know it's one of those uh we were a bit like liverpool fans weren't we that uh you know next year's our year wasn't it that was uh that's what we were like in those days so any memories you've got and if you haven't got time for any comments today just give us a thumbs up that'd be fantastic yeah there you go here we go the 1991 92 uh barclays uh league division one then wasn't it it was the last before of course the brand new all singing dancing fa premier league wasn't it, it was to come about b sky b and all that sort of thing i've covered those in other vlogs over the over the months uh but yeah we appeared in a good position didn't we to take advantage of this uh new world um Although I think underneath, I think deep down, the signs were there that well, things weren't all was going to go to plan. There were certain things off the field that were happening that you think, hmm, put a little doubt in your mind as whether City were quite prepared for this new challenge in this new era under the Premier League. Uh, and on the 25th of April 1992, it was, a, it was a fifth place City, fifth in the leagues. That wasn't bad, was it, with a couple of games to go? Fifth in the uh, Barclays First Division, who welcomed 21st place, Notts County. They weren't quite down um, but it was uh, welcomed them to a, a changing main road uh, the old plat lane had gone if you watch any highlights of the game you'll see it all been knocked down it was actually Leeds fans who'd actually been in that stand for the very last time uh, it was actually the bulldozers moved in after the Leeds United game when we you know the the current leaders of the league as this has been done but at that time it looked as though we'd handed the title to United uh, Manchester United didn't it with the when we beat Leeds 4-0 at main Road. that's another another one of my little history vlogs that uh, please seek that out as well but it was the Leeds United supporters who were to spend the last time as paying supporters in in the old Platt Lane stand where I'd spent my formative years, my very first games in, with my dad in the Platt Lane stand. Absolutely fantastic. Great memories. Such a such a sad thing to be bulldozed down. But we'll have to move with the times, didn't we? Uh, but, yeah, the new Platt Lane. Yeah, to say plans appear to lack a little bit of ambition. This is where we thought things were perhaps not going through as much. I mean, I was disappointed and many City fans were disappointed with the plans we saw for the new Platt Lane. We thought we could perhaps match something a little bit bitter, but it uh, bitter, better, yeah, bitter, bitter is probably the word. But uh, yeah, it seemed to lack ambition to us as far as size is concerned. Um, and although as the club and Swales at the time, the chairman emphasised that, that no club in the North West would have comparable facilities for executive hospitality. 
Yeah, we've come to hear that over the years, haven't we? Okay, then uh, we sort of believe you on that. I mean, whether it was or not, I never, I never went in one, so I have no idea if it was any any better than the boxes at other grounds. I don't know. Uh, to us, all the fans, it just looked a little small and disappointing on the artwork, and uh, it was unfortunately to prove, you know, it's as though some, somehow we were expecting something different when it was built. It was still quite unimpressive to me when it was actually yeah, built in real life. It didn't. It sort of matched the images, unfortunately. I, I thought I, I still thought that the images must be wrong. Perhaps there's another tear being put on or something like that. But uh, sadly, no, it wasn't to be. But anyway, this game you could see if you watch the highlights, it was nothing there, nothing in the black lane, just just a load of soil and rubble and various things. Yeah, back to the back to the city as it is. Peter Reid, of course, was the manager. He looked quite capable of keeping City near the top of the league. And who knows, despite falling short this 91-92 season, finishing fifth. I mean, we did have an outside chance at the title at certain stages of the season. Um, perhaps Europe beckons for next season. We missed out on this season. But uh, yeah, Reid was relatively upbeat in his match programme column that uh, for that match programme against Notts County. But uh, he didn't promise too much. I had a reread of it. And he didn't. He wasn't uh, promising the earth. That's for sure. Uh, he would last, of course, another full season plus a little bit before uh, he, end, he ended his uh, stay at City. Swales himself, because it was the end of season uh, program, had a little, a little, a little article in it as well, a little feature in the program as well. But his, uh, he made a claim that our squad was comparable to the one we had in the late seventies, which was a pat perhaps pushing it just a little bit but, but it was a good squad I mean don't get me wrong it was a good squad I mean you don't finish fifth in the first division unless you got an half decent squad uh, but there was no real talk I could spot in there about the effects of this new FA Premier League I'm sure that we would hear plenty about it won't be in, in time to come but uh, there was certainly nothing from Swales as far as as uh, promoting or banging the drum for that at the moment but uh, yeah, um, we were there, weren't we? We, 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 you know, a team finishing fifth in the first division with the advent of this new, new league had a chance, didn't we? Surely we had a chance, yeah. Anyway, as far as the game was concerned, yeah, I mean, County's hopes of survival, which were slim anyway, even if the Beatles uh, were sort of wafer thin at the time, and defeat would, of course, guarantee relegation for them. And their young, energetic manager, I remember him being called, uh, uh, his column in the old Notts County programme called War Knockings, I think it was called, if I, if I remember rightly. But, uh, yeah, their young, energetic manager, Neil York Warnock, there you go, um, was sort of, uh, was he got to stick around? Who knows? That's up to Notts County. He certainly didn't stick around for long, did he? But, uh, yeah, he was, he came in that 21st spot with, uh, with an outside chance, but, uh, they played some horrible stuff that season. And, and this game, we saw probably why they were 21st in the league. Of course, as I said, City were comfortable, uh, in fifth place and a win hit, a win here against Notts County today. And at Oldham, the last game of the season, could actually fi end up finishing in fourth. Uh, still not good enough for Europe, but uh, that's if Arsenal slipped up because they were they were slightly above us. So there was a possibility of fourth, but it looked as though if we won, if we won this, would guarantee fifth place anyway. So that that wasn't all too shabby, was it? Uh, off the pitch, though, again there were rumours about Peter Reid that uh, he could make the move to Liverpool. They yeah, had become Liverpool's manager, uh, and Liverpool would actually finish a place below us. So in the you know there you go, a bit of a step down for. Oh, poor Peter Reid, but there were links of him going to Liverpool, and one of our fans' favourites at the time. Uh, he's had a bit of a mixed thing since, but uh, yeah, Niall Quinn was linked with moves uh, to Benfica and in Portugal and one or two other teams as well. Not the biggest crowd. Don't forget, this is his last game of the season, but we've just knocked the plat lane down, so obviously that limited the sort of crowd we could get in the in the ground. Um, but it was perhaps a little bit low, below capacity anyway. Uh, Twenty three thousand four hundred and twenty six. Uh, the two scorers that day in the two 0 win were uh, Fitzroy Simpson uh, in the thirty third minute and Niall Quinn himself in the fifty seventh minute. The team that day, City team, was Colton Hill, Brightwell, Simpson, Curl, Vonk, White, Quinn, Sharon, Mike. McMahon, Red, Redmond, unused, and Hughes unused, and the Notts County team, Cherry, not a very good goalkeeper, I don't know how he kept us out in that FA Cup game, Palmer, Dryden, Lund, Johnson, Draper, Williams, Harding, Agana, Bartlett, Wilson, and their used subs were Cox and Matthews. 
Yeah, Malcolm Allison was in the stands. There you go, a, a, a face from the past uh, running his eye over uh, Mike Sharon, uh, believe it or not, but obviously more significantly Niall Quinn for this. Uh, he was scouting for Benfica at the time, and apparently Juventus and Torino were also looking at Quinn, and they were talking about big a big payday for Quinn if he decided to move. On the day, uh, Quinn did terrorise a pretty poor Notts County team, to be honest with you. They were pretty awful from the, from the get-go. But it was Fitzroy Simpson, and I mentioned Fitzroy Simpson, who produced a, a City Man of the Match display in the ratings, etc. And also got, that was his first goal for City, so absolutely fantastic. Journalist Bill Mills wrote on Simpson that he was a million-dollar cert to become a main road great. Yeah, not quite. Uh, Paul Hintz calls Simpson one of the bargain buys of the season. And he has one of the sweetest left pegs seen at Main Road in years. So that was Mr Paul Hintz. And we also had teenager, uh, did, I did mention Mike there, didn't I? Of course, I was talking AD Mike, who also made his first division debut in that game. And he would go on to make only another 15 first team appearances, sadly. He would actually score in his next game. We'll get onto that in a moment. Uh, but uh, in the last game of the season, he would actually open his scoring for City as well. But uh, yeah, only 16 first team appearances in total for uh, teenager AD Mike. Eh? Perhaps that's another, he's another player in time we can have a look at. Uh, yeah, the team's, team's lap of honour was well attended. The fans stayed, I stayed, we all stayed uh, to show our appreciation. But, and as I said, we did have a nice trip out to Oldham the week after and even though it was the, the month of May I remember being absolutely freezing uh, but we did go on to win 5-2 in that game so all, all good stuff and uh, as I said AD Mike got his his first goal for City as well in that game 5-2 uh, all of you there that day I was there that day uh, enjoy it's always good going to Oldham I always enjoy going to Oldham uh, even though I used to always be freezing no matter what, what time of year it was. Uh, yeah, as it happens, yeah, off the pitch, Liverpool did stick with uh, Graham Souness, who was the manager at the time, well, for a couple of seasons anyway, uh, and they left, they left Reed well alone. I think I think Reed was quite happy, to be honest with you, but at, uh, at main role at the time. And, of course, Niall Quinn, of course, turned his back on any moves abroad. Uh, it was mentions of a £1 million signing-on bonus and a, uh, etc. And he did actually sign a new contract at City and he did actually say he would stay for the rest of his career. Uh, well, not quite really, was it? He moved to a new love, Sunderland, uh, playing virtually the same number of times he had for City when he moved there. So uh, he didn't quite see out, uh, see out his uh, con his. His career at City, did he? But hey, there you go. And he obviously had a had a big connection with Sunderland after that on the on the director side, things like that. And uh, yeah, at one stage we thought he was never been a City player the way he used to spout off about Sunderland and sort of not been very nice about City, did he? But hey, that's another story, isn't it? As for Fitzroy Simpson, well, he did stay another couple of seasons, but didn't quite become a main road great, did he? Uh, as for the new Platt Lane, well, there you go, you'll say, it wasn't, it wasn't that great when it was put up. It lasted about 10 years, didn't it, until it and the rest of our wonderful home at Main Road was demolished finally in 2003 as we moved to the Et the wonderful Etihad, yeah, let's be kind. Uh, I think it was the actual last stand to be pulled down if, uh, from memory. I think it, uh, I think the order, and the, I may be wrong in this, was no stand, Kipax main stand, and then last of all to go was would have been the Platte Lane stand. Horrible picture there up on the screen. Uh, I'll probably post it with the, just the outline of the ground. Very, very sad. Horrible histories, I call that, don't you? Well, as for the whole new ball game, yes, well, that was, there we go. Well, one way or another, City managed to, um, managed to take, uh, didn't take full advantage of that, did we? I mean, as we were head to our darkest times, I mean, there was, that was a great time to be, you know, for City to, to kick on perhaps from fifth and do something and be out there for the public to watch, gain more support. But, uh, we chose that sort of time to struggle a little bit, didn't we? And uh, it became our darkest times, both on and off the pitch, unfortunately, in history. Um, of course, our performance after finishing fifth in 1991 and this season, 91-92, we finished ninth in 1992-93, a bit of a bit of a drop. Uh, 16th in 1993-94, not good. Uh, 17th in 94-95, even worse. And yes, just to add insult to injury, by 95-96, so all the all singing, dancing Premier League was gaining traction. 
we finished 18 from one relegated though so, so, says it all doesn't it but uh, there you go we never quite never quite well, we did recover but we missed the boat just a little bit unfortunately so anyway thanks for joining me for this look at the penultimate game of the 91-92 season the last before that brand new Premier League and the fact of uh, yeah we had a chance we had a chance to get on that roundabout didn't we but uh, we, we missed it just a little bit unfortunately but hey there you go that's history isn't it but uh Yes, thanks for joining me for this little look back. A game that finished City 2, Notts County nil. Yeah, and I say, we've had problems since then and had ups and downs and downs and ups. Uh, certainly Notts County, as I'm recording this, have obviously no longer a football league club, but uh, hopefully one day they'll the historic club like themselves will get themselves back as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know uh, Let me know what you think. This 25th of April, 1992, look back at Manchester City 2, Notts County 0. Not the great, not the thing that everyone's on the on the tip of everyone's tongue, that match, but uh, certainly enough interest there. And there usually is in City games one way or another over the years. There's usually, even in games like this, there's a history to be had and interesting things to talk about. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do with yesterday? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. So we meet here again on the Citizen Channel, or please have a flit across at my, have a look at my film and TV channel. All I ever say is please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.